I feel like I just walked down to a fairy tale with the clouds covering the mountains. Since we haven't explored Whistler Village yet, we figured we should do that today. So we're actually right here. We want to go through this part to the gondola to check that out because if we ever want to go up to the gondola, I think there's some really cool hikes at the top of these mountains. And then we'll just explore what the town's all about. Eventually make our way to the creek. I think that's gonna be like the most beautiful place we see today. And then eventually we will make our way back to the Olympic Plaza and go down Main Street. I think it's gonna be a great day. And of course there's a Tim Hortons right here. We already had our coffee for the day, so we're not going here, but it's a good option in case we need it. I almost feel like I just walked into a little square in Europe. We're on the village stroll right now. It's very cute. There's so many shops and restaurants along here and the buildings just look beautiful. And the mountains are just towering around us. We were just imagining how cute this place would be like when there's just tons of snow everywhere. Everyone just walking around in their ski boots, just going up the gondola. We can actually see it right now. We're gonna go over there next. Jacob? Yeah, just seeing what we could do uh, when we go up there. we are I don't think we're going up today, but it's something to look for. There are people biking everywhere here. If Jacob and I don't get run over on this trip, I'm going to be really impressed. <laughs> it's just crazy the amount of people biking. Like, there's lines are so full of people going up the mountains, trying out the bike park up there. Like, if wow. you like biking, this would be a good place for you. Well, and I guess it's perfect too because when it's there's not snow on the mountains, you could just you turn it into a bike park. Right down it. Uh-oh, gotta climb this hill. Ha. We need a gondola for this one. So cool. And there is more bikers. They're everywhere. We found the creek. We just have to get down there somehow. We think we found a trail. We just have to cross the road. Go! I wonder what trail we're on right now. This might be the valley trail, the one that connects all five lakes of Whistler to each other. But we're walking and there's just some like cabins in the woods right here. Looks really cool. Might have found an opening. That one wasn't the best view. We're gonna find a different spot to go. Just relax, look at the creek, take some pictures. Well, we found a path and there is a really cool bridge over here. We sat down at this little park area with a great view of the river. People are just eating their lunches, having relaxing time. There's still lots of bikers biking around us, <laughs> but there's less on this little path right here, which I appreciate. Because yeah. I've almost been hit like five times. <laughs> well, maybe you just weren't being careful. Something that I really like about this river is that it's so blue. It's almost like the glacier milk that we saw in Argentina. Not quite as blue, but getting there. And the water's powerful, it's just like, it's just so cool to stare at it and this is just such a green place It just you just feel so relaxed here. This would be a perfect place to have a little picnic. Oh nice, the chairs finally opened up. They're so comfortable. Really? I feel like I could fall asleep right here. You Whoa. lean so far back. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. This is the place to be. We've got a great view of the mountain, even though it's covered in clouds right now, and a great view of the river here. I'm fighting the urge to take a nap in this chair so hard. It like seriously just leans you back. So comfortable. One of my favorite things about little mountain towns like this are that the mountains are always kind of covered with clouds. So they just slowly reveal the mountains to us as the clouds please 
and it's so fun because you just get like little tidbits of the mountains and then when there's finally a clear day and you can see all the mountains surrounding you it's like the best little surprise because you just you don't know like i know there's a huge mountain behind all these clouds i just can't see it right now so hopefully tomorrow or the next day we'll have a super clear day and we'll just see all of the mountains in their glory. I'm really not sure if we're supposed to do this, but we're gonna go walk like all the way down there. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. nobody down here but I think we started a bad trend because now there's tons of people coming down. This really is a great place to be. It's just so peaceful and you get the nice rushing water right next to you. But yeah, we were the first people here and now there's at least 10 other people. So I think we're gonna move on to a different area. of the mountains and there's snow on them. We're walking over to Olympic Plaza now. They have the Olympics here in... 2010. We... Wow, that was really recent. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I mean, that was 12 years ago, so... Yeah. So yeah, I mean, they had the Winter Olympics here. We don't know what's actually gonna be over in Olympic Plaza, because it's not like there's gonna be like the ski jump or anything, but it'll be interesting to check it out. Yeah. It just looks prettier and prettier the closer we get. We have a little uh, fountain here. It's pretty. There's a lot of trees and flowers over here. There's sculptures too on all of the little pillars. Huh. Oh, this is so cute. Do you want an apple or banana? Yeah, I'll take a banana. Oh, and a grape. <laughs> I think we found Olympic Plaza. they have all of the names of the Canadian medalists. There's another mountain over there that you can see all the snow on top of it. I honestly thought that this place would not be so busy in the summer, but it is popping. I got cold, but now we're going to Main Street, so it's a bit of a walk, so maybe I'll uh, work up a sweat. We caught a helicopter taking off. We've been walking for like 20 minutes and we finally found Main Street. I don't even think we filmed anything on Main Street. It was just a street. We thought it was going to be like a party town, but it was just a street. <laughs> no, maybe not like a party, but we thought there's going to be a lot more shops and restaurants and it was just very quiet and there weren't really any people there. Tell us why you're excited. Because we're gonna get ice cream. Which one, which one? That's Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, There's Haagen-Dazs and the Diet Coke. <laughs> there it is. I was waiting for this mountain to finally show itself. Jacob's holding the goods. 